follow up with their leads as well. But um, yeah, I mean, I do get a lot better at that, but I think that's something we can all get better at that, but I think co-marketing with Laz really helps a lot because he has, we're all one big happy family, and so we can help each other with those leads that come in that aren't quite ready. But I mean, I've always kept an Excel spreadsheet of people I meet at open houses, and I just always have, you know, kept in touch with people, you know? So there's not a specific number, it's until you, they tell you, leave me alone, or? Yeah, they haven't yet, so okay. I mean, that's but. Good. <laughs> that's good, yeah. how about you? How about at least five or seven times? Five, seven times? Yeah, and then what happens? happens. I still, I still, I, I might taper off how often, uh, unless they're trying to look for take a break for now. Mm -hmm. I still won't take them off my list. I just may call them once a quarter. Right. So yeah. maybe on the eighth time, you refer them to somebody else who might continue on and no, pay you a I'll, I'll I keep them with, I keep them with me the whole time. Okay. So just to expand how you know, the length, the length, you know, the time that you can draw. We got time for just a couple more questions. So I want to ask you a lot of questions. I want to get to everybody. Yeah, I'm just curious. Being new on Zillow. How much did each one of you invest when you first went on Zillow? Great question. We need, we need to question. know that because I'm in that circle. And right you can now. share a number or you can share a percentage yeah. or, or. I'd love to share a number because. Please I'm do such because such it's kind of it's kind of yeah. complicated because when you get sure. in there, you want to spread out. And I'm just in my town right now, and I bought so many zip codes there. But now I've had like seven seven people come in. Sure. And it is tough trying it's to turn question. that. Yeah, it's so tough trying to turn that. you want to share? Go ahead. I started with. Uh, you know, let's say half of the zip code, um, and then I and I started with about two hundred dollars per month. Different town. Um, I started half of Alabaro, and then I started half of Mansdale, and I started to see the results. So then I started to up my ante, and then I last year at this time I was paying five hundred and fifty-seven dollars per month for full spaces, which I find make a huge difference. So you're saying go more in one in space. one space because you're getting. Because they do, it's by impressions. So if there's 14,000 impressions in one zip code and you have 100% of that market, you're being seen every 14,000 times. But you can also buy, you know, a third of that or half of that, 7,000 impressions. So do you think it's better to go this way or to go this way? For me personally, I like to buy zips out 100% of that particular zip. But I do have some zips that I, I don't have 100% of that market that you can be put on a waiting list. And where are you at right now as far as I know you were sharing some numbers yeah. before you were so, I, um, so you spend as much in your ROI as last this. Year, yeah, so last year I kept up in the ante and then um, Laz came on board as a co-lender and so he contributes towards my monthly spend. So, so my, I have 4,000 zip codes in one town. You have 4,000 impressions, right. okay, in one town. Is that the max just, for just that right. town? Right. So you have that's great. So you're seeing every single time somebody clicks on the, on somebody, you're seeing 4,000 yeah. times out of 4,000 times. So is it better to stay in one town or to move out of there? It is, but ideally I think it's better to, um, to try to get as, to try to be 100% in all areas that you're, and that's not going to happen overnight. You know, you build up to that. Okay. So like, you know, I, last year at this time I was paying $557 per month and then over the year it went up and now I'm at a little over 10000 per month, um, and LAS contributes um, towards that monthly spend as well. So, so it doesn't um, happen overnight, it just does keep. Right, exactly. You all started with one zip code? But it's, it's proven to work, so that's, that's why I've increased so much and I've had that confidence to increase that much right, because exactly. I've seen that it works. Based on her question, I have a question. What is your return on your investment. So if you're spending a okay. dollar, are you getting right. back two right. or? Well, I, it, you know, it's really tough because we, we want to see solid numbers, but this is a growing thing. So what I did is I actually, this, uh, I should have brought it up here, but I have a sheet that I went back 12 months. And so for the last 12 months, I spent about $58,000 for the last 12 months, but I sold 110,000. I have pending, ready to close 30,000. So, and I have nine listings coming on from Zillow. I have seven active buyers. So like I have projected income where it's probably three times the investment. So your first, let's say your first few months, what did you invest then? Your first year, let's go with that. What did you invest then? Did you say, what you said, 500? Uh, my first year, it's tough because it, it goes up. Um, you know, I started at $200 per month, so say for the first six months, and then I started, and then I was up to 557, say. Okay. I'm just yeah. trying to get a I mean, I'd, I'd say, I'd say you know, it, it depends on, 
mean, I, I think I'm spending roughly about five thousand a year on the four zip codes, and I'm getting anywhere from twenty-three to thirty-five percent of each zip code. Um, but also, to I mean, I, um, yeah, so it also just depends on what what the arrangement you have with with uh, Zillow. I mean, yeah, and just so everybody knows, uh, at the showcase, we have uh, a few of our executives here that will actually go through and show you the process. If there's zip codes available, if there's more impressions. Uh, as Chad shared with all of you, the growth through our television marketing, our partners and acquisition, uh, our volume in um, impressions goes up because uh, our yeah. traffic goes up. I, mean, I, I would just cheer the idea if you're starting off, get in one zip code, buy as much of the impressions as you can. 100% is awesome. But if you're at 30 to 40 percent, that's great because you have to remember, like that one person who's looking to buy in Middleton, if they're looking on Zillow every day on Middleton, and you come up every third time they click on something, okay. just by default, they're going to say, "Wow, that person must be amazing. They're always right. there." <laughs> and if you compound it with your good looks and your reviews and your uh, and, and all that, then you're, you're rocking. We got time for about one or two more. This gentleman in the back, right there. Thank you. And then we'll come. Yeah, my name is uh, Nick Rio. I own the Buyers Broker Company in uh, Shrewsbury, Mass. I've been at Zillow uh, Premier Agent since October 2010. And I started out with uh, Shrewsbury, and uh, it just started to fade off once. And so I'm a believer, because I've been doing this for since, you know, almost five years now, that you don't want to put your pennies all in one basket. But I really believe in buying out the zip code. Uh, one of the things I did is I actually spread Spread around to find out which zip codes were going to, in my market area, were going to be the best. So I spent $100 here, mm -hmm. $100 there, until I had like seven of them. I was spending like $700 a month. And then I went to homes.com. That's why I wanted to get on the mic. If you're looking for buyers, homes.com does not work because I'm an exclusive buyer's broker. Okay, yeah, we, we don't want to, we don't want to do that. that. No, hey, no, that's, that's, what, that's just my opinion. Great it's just my opinion. It may work for somebody, and I'll right. you, I, would be, I would be hypocrite if I said <laughs> I told you don't spend your money where it you're going to get seven, seven, I had a seven exclusives yeah. with that particular company, yeah. and it didn't work, not one lead. Right. Uh, but anyway, the, the thing is, is that I Thanks broke it sure. down to, um, I'm really a fan, 70% of my business is from Zillow. And I'm really a fan of it. But basically what I did is I got the two best out of doing that shotgun method sure. for about, and I talked to my agent and they were able to, to knock the contract down because I said I want to uh, double up, triple up. I want to get these two zip codes and I want to buy them all. So I'm on the wait list too, whatever they call it. And they are very good. They text me, they email me, and they call me. Nick, do you want to buy this? I said, yes, thank you. So, so your recommendation is to go on the wait list if it's available, Absolutely. if the zip code's not. Yeah. Good, good advice. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. that tip. I appreciate that. Uh, this young lady, and then we'll take one more after that, and then we're going to have to wrap up. Hi. First, thank you so much for your valuable information. Mm -hmm. And I have um, my question is: I've had a couple of inquiries on Zillow for CMAs. Nice. Now, my style is sitting down with somebody face to face. Yep. Do you recommend sending a CMA? Just the email. No. No. I didn't. Think Okay, very okay. Three heads should no. no, no. And the reason you're getting that is because it used to say contact an agent. Now on properties that are not for sale on Zillow, consumers can click on the contact agent button because premier agents are all showing up on the 110 million homes that are on the site and it says get a professional estimate because the consumer is looking at the Zestimate and we figured what better way to connect you with them than have the verbiage say get a professional estimate and so you'll get a request for a CMA. That's the default verbiage. Okay. Uh, we have a chance for one more question and then I'll let you. Yes, I have a, a team and when I refer the Zillow leads over to a team member, I find that the conversion ratio is less because when they see you, they want to use you. Yep. Even though I say I, I, they will take good care of you and they're a buyer's mm -hmm. agent, I um, want to know how you handle that. I changed my um, name. I start, I called it Molly Miller and Company on Zillow instead of Molly Miller and Team. I just like that name better. And I did a little write up, and it seems to work, work really well because um, you know I personally mentor one on one each agent. I have created um, a script, which isn't really a script. It's just kind of what I say to people, and I put it in words so they can sort of. Um, you know, talk, they can use that as a guide. Um, and people tend to, you know, because they know upfront when they're clicking on Molly Miller and company and they see 
my little write-up, my little bio, it's not a problem. You know, I think it's, it's in the way we handle it. Sure. Because we are in control, you know, and we're, we want to help them regardless. Yeah, I, I, I think um, if you're a team leader and you're giving up your Zillow uh, leads that come to you, I, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm not the firm believer. I think you need to make that first contact to do the handoff. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know that the, the, everybody will always listen to your. I don't call our team leads. We don't even have the other agents. Oh, okay, well, there you go. That's great. I, I do, and I teach the other agents. That's the great. That just some kind of point of contact to make them know you're, you're handing them off, so it's not just like a random. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So, folks, I know there's more questions, and so um, just to keep us on time and keep to the schedule. I just have one quick okay, suggestion for those that are yeah. brand new, is go to Zillow and go to the Make Me Moves. If you haven't looked at it, you go to the search area of Zillow. Listing on un uncheck, uncheck everything but Make Me Move, and check out how many people in your zip code or where you live um, have listed, have registered, registered with Zillow to say, Make me move, which is basically someone saying it's a great listing opportunity. Yeah, it's a great listing opportunity. Just because you have buyers and you want to meet, see the house. So you want to preview the home, you go preview the home, and then you um, go back into a CMA and you can tell them, well, you know, your your desired price is right on, or I can get you more money, and then you can make it a listing. Because those are typical. Those are like those are like almost like safe fizzbos. Sure. These are so here's money. what we're gonna do, because uh, we're out of time, and I want to keep to the schedule today because we have a lot of information. So. 